Hello YouTube, it's Austin Lamb again. Um, I'm going to be doing a video of my leopard geckos. I need to get some German on my hands. But not necessarily just my leopard geckos, I'm crested geckos and leopard geckos, sorry. Uh, I got two hours of sleep last night, so don't judge me. <laughs> okay. This girl is pretty cool. Um, I got um, two creamsicle females at the expo. Oh, son of a... <sighs> okay. Sorry about my cussing, guys. Just fucking... Ugh, jumping all over the place. Here, get up there. Get up there. She's a... This one's a creamsicle girl, and she's kind of... She freaks out a whole bunch. I don't know why. But she's really, really pretty. She's not a... You know, the the best looking creamsicle out there, but... She's one of the nice ones. But this girl, she is an amazing cream sickle. Oh my gosh. Just wait till you see this in the right lighting. Look at that cream sickle. She is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> uh, I don't think I could have got done any better. Um, I traded my adult male pinstripe for those two. Which was actually a pretty good price because they went to resell him for $200 and these were about $125 each at his table. And considering their breeding size and their really nice morphs and females, you know, that's really, really great. Definitely a great price. And then, of course, there's my original male. Um, what was cool about him is there was a whole bunch of people that had crested geckos and a couple of them had morphs exactly like him, like adult males exactly like him and um, they were $200 a piece which is really cool because I got him for like 30 bucks at Petco and he's doing great so considering I got a $200 morph for $30 at a Petco a while back that's pretty amazing Ah, <sighs> alright, so here on to my leopard geckos. Um, I'm just gonna start with my original leopard gecko that I got from my friend Steven. Um, he just didn't want it anymore, and so it's just gonna be a pet for me. It's really cool, honestly. Um, just a normal. But, yeah, I thought he was pretty cool, so I wanted to get more. I did used to have um, leopard geckos, but I got rid of them like an idiot. But, um, yeah. Alright, so, if David's Fine Geckos watches this video, he should be proud of me for getting the ones that I got, because, um, I traded my baby male pinstripe for all four of them, for all four of the high yellow hypos, and they're amazing. So, this is the male. Oh, well, he's going to freak out. Um... And he's got a really nice pattern, beautiful head. I can't wait to breed these guys um, in a little while, maybe in a month or two when I get more fat on them and make sure they're all eating and healthy and stuff. So I then got these three. These are the females. And again, David's Fine Geckos, if you're watching, you will be. I hope you would be proud of me getting these guys, because, these girls, because they are fantastic. I'll just start with showing you the normal girl. Uh, she, well, she's not normal. She's a high yellow, but um, the, and these are high yellow hypos. So, which is really cool. She's got a really great pattern in her head and everything. And then these two girls are fantastic. They're both huge, and um. Yeah, they've got great patterns. This one is exceptional in um, color. It's got some interesting colors. And this one, she is huge. She's probably around 100 grams. And uh, her pattern and color is just fantastic. I picked these out out of about 100 that they had. They're like, well, you can have three females and a male. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, just take your pick. And so out of 100 geckos, I picked these three. They didn't have any more like those two, so I picked that just high yellow to get into that project. Well, since the video is almost five minutes, I gotta go, so comment, subscribe. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.